I'm here with Sol at Chasers in Scottsdale, Arizona. What up? He's going to tell me about his new CD and DVD he just released. Um, yeah, I just dropped a CD. It's called Hello Crew World. It's with my band, the Skyrider Band. Um, just dropped on Fake 4 Records. It's a very different kind of record for me. It's kind of... It's like the same lyric, same kind of cr cynical, critical worldview, but it's um, kind of a more popular, listenable, but yes, yeah, still pretty experimental album. Um, in about three weeks, I'm releasing my first DVD. It's called the Art Is War, and it's basically um, it's like a it's kind of like a PBS documentary about um, just about everything about philosophy, about music, about um, history, um, technology, it's just kind of like poetry, music, it's like all my ideas kind of compiled into one little DVD, it's just basically a lot of shit talking. That's exciting. With a bunch of videos. Yeah, that's very exciting. So, with all the movements that's been going on in Denver, how has that influenced your work? Uh, you know, music? well, Denver's really cool. Denver has, is the... Uh, last night, last I knew it was the third most expensive Occupy in the nation. Um, it's uh, where uh, we are, um, unlike many other Occupies, Occupy Denver is not nonviolent. Occupy Denver observes St. Paul principles, diversity of tactics. And so that's a very interesting, it's a very interesting dynamic because I never realized how radical Denver was. And so to be in the midst of like, literally like, what feels like some kind of civil war, low, low, pretty low, low grade civil war, um, which is like 10 blocks from my house, <laughs> is just really fun. Um, it's really, sometimes it's scary, but it's very inspiring because I've been very cynical my whole life. I just figured Americans were just stupid and lazy, um, and they are. Um, but it's cool to see a lot of people taking to the streets and asserting their rights. Um, and first it like fucked my music up because it's like, kind of like, it's like, all right, well, how am I like a studio gangster now? Like what, like how am I, how, do, how can this real, real world activism in like work with what I do on record? Um, but it just, I just kind of had to let it all sink in. Um, I've, I'm pretty much done with a new album right now. I've just been working on it. It's very, um, it's very different because I've always been pessimistic, and so to now, now I actually have hope. Um, not Obama hope, like real hope. Yeah. Uh, but that said, I could, ju I would not be surprised at all if nothing changes at all. But right. what we're seeing now is like the spark of something and I'm, I'm not convinced that it's going to be Occupy that changes everything but I see this as like the, the beginning stages in a long struggle to kind of to hopefully overthrow the government and get people heard for once yeah and like you know make um, to create I mean to me like I'm, I'm only doing this to like create that utopia that I've always dreamed of, that I never thought was possible, and now that like people are openly talking about revolution, people are openly talking yeah. about talking about everything. So the fact that that is on the table now, it makes everything it makes life more interesting. You know, it also makes life fucking crazy. <laughs> yes, it does. So who is your favorite person to collaborate with on your album? Um, Our people. I, well, I mean, definitely, obviously, my band. Yeah. Um, other than that, I'm trying to think who was on there. You know, I think I was most psyched to have um, Shushu on my album. Uh, I've been a huge Shushu fan for, I don't even know, for probably 10 years. And it was like all I listened to for a while was like Silver Mount Zion and Shushu. And uh, I became friends with Shushu, and so it was like a, a big deal to finally do a track with him. That is awesome. Okay, what's the best vegan meal you can cook? Best vegan, oh, come on, that's not fair. Uh, probably the the best thing, my favorite, my specialty is a kind of African um, seitan barbecue where I you blend, it, you blend together a bunch of ginger, like a ton of ginger, habaneros, and canned tomatoes with a little garlic and salt. You blend it all together and you marinate your uh, seitan in that for probably, I mean, ideally 12 hours. 
Um, you can do a tofu also, but ideally like 12 hours. And because I make my own seitan, I can make like enough seitan to feed 30 people for nice. like 10 bucks. So I'll just make a shitload of seitan, put it in this African um, mix, and then I just have it, invite as many people over as I can and just Making keep me cooking hungry. shit. Yeah. Okay, last question. If you could battle it out, epic battle with anybody, who would it be? Who would it be? Alive or dead? Alive or dead? Um, I don't know. Probably Ronald Reagan. <laughs> yeah. Ronald Reagan. Thank you. No problem.